Hi, I'm Michelle and I have a permanent ileostomy. I enjoy doing yoga and Steve and I have put together this routine for people living with a stoma who are new to yoga. Thanks Michelle. So this is lovely that uh, Michelle is finally here. Uh, so um, hope you enjoy the sequence that we put together. After a couple of uh, meetings, if you like, um, with Michelle, we just put a, a short sequence together with some of her favorite uh, yoga poses. So we're going to be focusing on um, some gentle twisting, some ab work, and some hip opening. Now, my third eye is not working, so I'm gonna go for my fourth. And I have some uh, copy to read out. So for the first three months following surgery, uh, avoid all heavy lifting and support your stoma and stomach when coughing or doing anything that might strain the stomach muscles. Always check with your stoma care nurse or healthcare practitioner before starting any exercise program. Here are a few points to remember. Make sure you are comfortable. Never exercise just after a meal. Don't overexert yourself. If you feel any pain or unwell during the exercises, stop immediately and seek medical advice. Don't forget to breathe. If in doubt, don't. If this session sorry, in this session will provide different variations depending on your capabilities and what you feel comfortable with. Lovely. Okay, so yes, as I said earlier, I'm Steve. I've been teaching yoga for about nine years and very much looking forward to sharing this with you and working with Michelle. So we're going to start uh, in a seated posture. If sitting on the floor in this way is uncomfortable for you, then you could extend the legs out, or of course you could sit upright on a chair. You could in fact either even stand if you wanted to take part in this uh, breathing work. So for the sake of this um, sequence, I'm gonna keep my eyes open, but feel free to close the eyes as we come to our breath work. Take the hands anywhere on the legs, maybe bring thumb and index finger together, palms will be facing down or up chin or yana mudra. So gently settling. Just allowing the body to feel grounded, feeling the points of the body that connect to the earth. So the weight of the body sinking down, the head rising up. And at this time, just bring awareness to the breath. So we're just recognizing the breath. And then from here, I'm going to guide you through a very simple pranayama technique. So some very simple breath work where we're going to inhale for four. And my recommendation is that we exhale for six. If that doesn't work for you, just come back to your natural breath or change the count so it works for you. Okay. So getting ready to inhale. So when you're ready, inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale for four, continue on your own. So as you continue, just allow the, the breath to sort of settle with this sequence and if um, it feels uncomfortable you can shorten the count the exhalation but I'm going to leave you to your own devices if you like just for a couple of just for a couple of minutes just so that uh, you can settle into it so it's proven that if we exhale longer than we inhale it calms the body the mind the nervous systems it's a very simple way of grounding and calming and it's something that you can take with you anywhere so if it feels good for you you can just do it any time of the day and the breath is a wonderful thing it's a gift we're half the time we're not aware of it but it's with us all the time so if we are caught in traffic then come to some breath work or any time so just a few more breaths here And then very gently just bring that to a close. 
Allow the breath to find its natural path now and continue to observe it. And then just very gently from here, we're going to release the hands on your next exhalation. Bring the hands to the heart in prayer. As we inhale, we're going to take the hands high. Lengthen from sit bones through to fingers. You can keep the hands apart if that feels okay. Or you can draw the palms together. As we exhale, draw the hands to the third eye, the lips, the heart. Namaste. Lovely. From here, we're going to very gently come round onto our hands and knees. So I call this tabletop, hands and knees. So hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips, take your time. So bring a bit of gentle awareness to the palms so we're engaging the palms so we don't dump the weight down into the wrists, the wrists in line. That's lovely, okay. So from here, let's bring a bit of awareness to the abdominals. Very gently, as we exhale, we're going to draw the belly towards the lower back. Just so we bring some awareness to the center. Lovely. From here, we're going to come to cat-cow. As we inhale, take the gaze forwards. Allow the sit bones to rise up. As we exhale, draw the belly towards the lower back. Open through the upper back. Inhale. Take the gaze forwards. Allow the sit bones to rise up. Exhale, draw the belly towards the lower back. Inhale, continue on your own, your breath, your time. So what we're doing here is bringing some awareness to the center and of course the abdominals, but also that, feeling that lovely movement through the spine. So flowing movement through the spine. And this is a a really lovely way of, really, of grounding the body, connecting to the earth, and just bringing some gentle movement to so your, your breath, your time. And let's come back to center from here. Now you can stay with this straightforward cat-cow movement or coming to what I call free-flowing cat-cow. So from here, we're just gonna very gently allow the body to find its own way. So we might just take the sit bones back to the heels and then just gently feel the shoulders coming through over the fingers. So we're just really just allowing the body to move, to just find any movement here that feels right for you. Because the cat-cow is great, but it's, you know, it can be a little bit um, stuck in this sort of lateral plane, if you like. So it's a chance to, to find what feels right for your body. And we're just getting, bringing some gentle awareness to the shoulders, the hips, the belly, lovely. So allow this movement just to be free so we can get into the side of the body and we're really just finding what the body needs. Lovely, that's great, Michelle. Just come back to center, hands and knees, tabletop. Now from here, we're gonna take the right leg behind us, so extend the right leg, so we're extending the toes, the toes to the mat, so the toes connect to the mat, lovely. Keep the hips level. So we're taking the toes to the mat, so you're supported, lovely. Yep. So feel the hips supported, hips level, wonderful. Now from here, extend the left hand forward if you can. Okay, we're gonna think about keeping hips level, that, that's great. Lovely, from here, tuck the tailbone under slightly. Again, we're drawing the belly towards the lower back. Now, if you can, from here, as we inhale, we're gonna take the right leg high. If that's too much, for whatever reason, just take the foot back down to the earth. Lovely. Wonderful. Exhale, let's come back to tabletop, hands and knees. Wonderful, well done. From here, we're gonna to come to the other side. So let's extend the left leg behind us. So we're just straightening the left leg, the toes of the left foot connect to the mat. So you feel supported and settle in here. So the hips are level, wonderful. Extend the right hand forward, 
So just feel a lengthening through the upper body. So we want to involve upper body. Draw the belly towards the lower back, just so we just feel that we're supported. As we inhale, take left leg high to see how this feels for you. Lovely. So we're, what we're doing here is we're having to draw into the center for stability. Exhale, come back to tabletop. Fantastic. So just settle in here, and we're going to... We're going to build on that uh, sequence. So if that's if, if when we build on the sequence is too much, just stay with the first part. Lovely. Okay. So extending the right leg behind us, toes connect to the earth. Lovely. Take left hand forwards. Take the gaze forwards if you can. Lovely. You're way ahead of me. That's fantastic. <laughs> Draw belly towards lower back as we inhale. Let's take right leg high. Now option to stay here or take the right foot back to the earth. Or as we exhale, let's bring knee to elbow. So we're going to fold, bring knee to elbow. Inhale, open. So we're going to extend the left arm, the right leg. Wonderful. Exhale, fold. Lovely. Yep. Knee to elbow, <laughs> fantastic. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Knee to elbow. Inhale, open. Lovely. One more. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. You're doing great. This is quite strong. Exhale, come back to tabletop. Fantastic. So this builds strength, uh, core strength and stability. Let's take the left leg behind us, toes connect to the earth, and just settle in. Bring awareness to hips. Wonderful. Take right hand forwards. Draw the belly towards the lower back. Again, option to stay here, or as you inhale, take left leg high. Fantastic. Exhale, fold, knee to elbow. Inhale, open, extend. Feel that lengthening through the body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. So we're connecting through spleen and stomach meridian here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. Lovely. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. And I always lose count. We're going to do another one. I think this is number four. Exhale, fold. You'll be glad to know it's the last one, Michelle. <laughs> Inhale, opening. Fantastic. Lovely. Exhale, come back to tabletop. Wonderful. Well done. Now we're going to come to downward facing dog here. Now, if down dog is too much for you, stay with hands and knees. So if you want to come to your down dog, again, we're. we're sort of um, engaging the palms. We call this Hasta Mudra. So as we engage the palms, hopefully feeling a connection through the arms across the back. Again, draw the belly towards the lower back. Tuck the toes under. From here, as we exhale, we're going to drive up through the heels. So just lifting the hips, rising up into your down dog. Wonderful. So the feet, yeah, that's fine. Actually, where the feet are, that's fine. So let's keep the knees soft, in fact, bent, and then as we exhale, push the mat away with the hands. And then from here, we're going to gently pedal through the feet. So we exhale, extend one heel through to the earth, inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. So we're just pedaling through the feet, releasing any tension that we might have. Lovely. Let's come back to center. So just bringing the hips back, wonderful. From here, as we inhale, we're going to take right leg high, Ooh, if you can. Just too much? Okay, yeah. no, no problem at all. We'll take it from hands and knees. Yeah. So what we'll do from here, let's step the right foot forward, and then we're going to step the right foot forward. Yeah. No problem. Just pick That's it up. Right. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. No problem at all. And then from here, we're going to stand up into our warrior two. Yeah. Okay. Put the back foot down. Front knee over front ankle. Okay, just stand up in your own way. Wonderful. Okay, so what we're going to have here is heels in line. You can open the posture out if you need to. Mm -hmm. Front knee over front ankle. The back leg is straight. We're going to take the, the toes of the back foot forwards, which protects the knee and the hip. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And then from the center, as we inhale, ex extend the arms out. Lovely. Shoulders over hips. Fantastic. Let's take a few breaths here. So while we're here, we won't be here too long, I promise, Michelle, we are in a lovely hip-opening posture. 
So it might be that you take one hand to the inside of your uh, right thigh and a left hand here. We could just gently fill an opening here. So as teachers, especially in these times, we can't physically assist. We could just fill this gentle opening if you want to. So very gently getting this hip opening. Lovely. Release the hands forwards. Fantastic. So the front knee stays where it is. We're going to turn the right palm up. As we inhale, just reach up. Fingers of the right hand reach up, but allow the left hand to float down the back of the left leg. Lovely, fantastic. Now, as an option here, if you wanted to take it further, depending on where you are in your practice, we could take the left hand across the lower back. We could lift the front heel. Now, if you want to stay where you are, that's absolutely fine. It's just a variation. It's just an option. So we get this lovely lateral stretch. We get into ribcage, lungs. Wonderful. Gently release. And then from here, as we inhale, we're going to lift the heart, straighten the legs, turn the palms out away from you, coming into Trikonasana. As we exhale, reach forwards. Rotate from the centre very gently. So we're literally just rotating from the centre. The front leg is straight here. Wonderful. That's fine. You were just in side angle pose. And we're going to expand out from the centre, tuck the tailbone under. Now, this can be quite strong through the centre of the body, so just be very careful with it. It might be that you stand really high, and then in time, and I don't mean in a few breaths, it might be in a few weeks, as we exhale, maybe finding yourself just gently coming down that little bit more, maybe taking the gaze up, but always take the head to where you feel comfortable. Wonderful. Now, from here, as we inhale, we're going to come back into our warrior two. As we exhale... Let's take both hands to the front of the mat. We're going to pivot on the ball of the back foot. And then as we exhale, we're going to come back into down dog. Now, of course, there's an option here to come back onto knees if you would rather. You can come into hands and knees or down dog. Now, from here, let's do what we did in the, the first round with Michelle. Come down onto the knees. Lovely. We're going to come onto the left side now. So let's step the left foot forwards. Take your time. And then just, in your own way, let's just stand up. Lovely. So from here, we're going to come into warrior, warrior two. That's fine. <laughs> That's lovely. So take the gaze forwards. Fantastic. So the toe of the back foot pointing forwards a little bit. That protects the knee and the hip. That's lovely. Front knee over front ankle. So just be careful of the front knee. The gaze is forward. Relax the shoulders. Lovely. And just breathe here. Again, so we could be feeling this lovely hip opening here. And it's um, just a few breaths there. I'll cue the next posture. Okay, so from here, we're going to turn the left palm up. And as we inhale, we're going to reach up. So pivot through the center. Fantastic. Lovely. So a few breaths here. So hip opening postures, it's pretty common knowledge in our yoga practice that when we open hips, we release ourselves from um, tension and emotion. They are the emotional dumping ground of the body. So it's fantastic to get into hips. And Michelle uh, mentioned to me that she finds it particularly freeing. And it, it really is. These hip opening postures are fantastic. How are you doing there? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few <laughs> breaths, too many. Okay, then from here, we won't worry about the variation. From here, we're going to rise up. So just rise up, straighten both legs. So straighten the front leg as well. So we're just going to straighten, straighten the legs, and then we're going to take the hands out, take the gaze forwards, turn the palms out so they're facing away from you. Wonderful. From here as we exhale, we're going to reach forward. So we're going to reach forward as if we are being pulled on that first arm. You know, the first arm forward, and then we're going to pivot through the center. Trick and asana. Wonderful. Now if the shoulder, if this top shoulder is a little bit tight, you could always take the arm across the lower back if you wanted, wanted to. So we really want to get this lovely opening across the chest, tucking the tailbone under. So the, in this way, if we expand out from the centre, it can be really freeing, really lovely. You're doing great, lovely. If anything, you're doing okay? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just do another couple of breaths here. And then from here, as we inhale, we're going to rise up, bending the front knee, come to your warrior two. 
Lovely. From here, as we exhale, let's take both hands to the front of the mat. Fantastic. And then from here, take the left foot back into your down dog. Lovely. Okay, fantastic. From here, as we exhale, let's come down onto the knees together. Wonderful. Now, from here, we're just going to come down either into a seated posture or into final relaxation. So, we're going to, Michelle's going to join me, I think, in a seated posture. And we'll come back to the breath. So, at the end of your practice, of course, you might just want to come onto the back into Shavasana. So, coming back to where we started, maybe closing the eyes, coming back to the breath, just allowing the body to calm and settle. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this practice. And if you want to make the practice a bit longer, you can always take the movie back and do the standing sequence again. Have a fantastic day. Namaste. Namaste.